Okay, so here we are at the entry into the site. Remember the first day we were walking down from there, we were just starting the design and two bald eagles flew over the site. It was a, it was a real omen. My spine was tingling and it was like, we've done something right. The eagles have flown by. You notice we don't have an asphalt entry or parking lot here. It's because we really wanted to keep petroleum products off of this project. It was really a mandate from our landscapers. They did not want to have contaminated soil. And every tree and most of the significant uh, smaller brush pipe trees here, we bored down 13 feet with a borehole. And then we put a perforated drain pipe down in the side of that. By getting the roots to go down, they're able to get into the natural water tables and the more moist soil here and get off of our water budget as soon as possible and minimize the needs for water consumption here. It's been very successful. We wanted to have kind of a fun feature for the kids here. Uh, we obviously are trying to inspire our new generations here and get them to start thinking about sustainability. We salvaged these and brought them in here and made the kids ton a lot of it. A lot of the materials here I'll talk about along the way are salvage materials. And that was this definitely a very strong goal of ours, is to use as much salvage materials as possible. Virtually all the building materials for this project came within a very small circle of about 100 miles. The building is a straw bale building. It was uh, the first large commercial straw bale building built in the nation and the first in the state of California. Um, these are straw bales in here. You can see the width of this wall is the width of the straw bale. This building officially has no HVAC systems. Interesting an anecdote on that is uh, I had a woman come up to me once in the summer. It was 110 degrees out. It was 78 degrees in the store. She said, you guys are supposed to be environmental. What are you doing here with this air conditioning in the building? <laughs> so, well, you show me the air conditioning. There's no air conditioning in this building, but it is so effective that when it's operated properly, it won't get more than 78 degrees in here. Cheers. We found in the early days, we put a sign on the highway that said weird restrooms. As you can see, uh, we found out that was one of our biggest draws. Probably two or three percent of our customers that came to the site came to see what the weird restrooms were. And uh, let's go inside and Jeff can tell you a little bit more about them. So the bathrooms, um, we did a couple of things in here. Uh, typically people have these plastic partitions. I found this product from a company called Yemen Heart and they take recycled plastic bottles and if you look closely you'll see the labels are still in the plastic here. And then the wainscoting in here as you can see are all toilet tank lids. And uh, we did a fair amount of shopping at the Sonoma County Dump which has a facility attached to it called Recycle Town. And when anybody coming in there with re reusable building materials they're gleaned off of the trucks and put into Recycle Town. And I was there shopping for windows for the storage building and some doors, and I saw a mountain of these toilet tank lids. And I thought, oh, we gotta be able to do something with these. We also have waterless urinals in here. These were among the first in the state at the time. The bicycle generators here were a, a real successful intern project that the interns have put together. People can jump on these and you light up a series of LED lights. The first one being 15 watts, 35 watts, 65, 100, and 140. People can actually see visible uh, activity of what happens when they pedal that hard. So it's, this is probably our most popular display on site. This is our observation beehive that we installed in April of this year, 2015. It's something that I was a pet project of mine for 20 years. We finally got it installed. What you have is 10 frames of uh, beehive frames, five in the front, five in the back. So what you're seeing here is only 25% of the bees. There's about 30,000 bees in here. You can see how prolific the queen is, making all of this brood here, which they've capped to make new bees. A bee typically lasts uh, probably a month or five weeks before it dies. But uh, with this hive here, we try not to get into it at all. We let them make their honey and we leave it here for their own brood. For later, we don't take any honey out of it. And out the back, there's an exit where the bees can go and they can forage around the property. When there's a good nectar flow, they can get nectar and pollen. You can see them coming in the back, carrying pollen on their legs. But to us, this is our um, this is our statement that bees really need to be protected. You know, a third of the crops in the world are 
pollinated only by bees and wouldn't exist without it. Uh, all the almonds in the Central Valley, many of the fruits, uh, fruits and vegetables that we eat are pollinated by bees. So this is our statement to educate people about colony collapse disorder. Welcome to the uh, Organic Gardens here at uh, Real Goods, the Solar Living Institute. Um, yeah, so the gardens are kind of the uh, educational gardens for the community, as well as uh, providing food for all the interns for the summer and winter. So, are some good tomatoes, uh, potatoes, onions, and garlic were planted over the winter. Those are getting ready to harvest right now. We are certified organic. CCOF certified us. It was important to me that everything we did here was something that people could relate to, that they could take home with them. And I really didn't want people to walk away from here and say, well, that's really cool. If you got more money than brains, you could do that too. That was the opposite message. You know, the message was, it doesn't take much money at all to just think in the right direction. What do you say to all the people behind the computer trying to experience sustainability through the screen versus actually touching it and experience it? <laughs> doesn't work. Doesn't yeah, it doesn't work too well. Scratch and sniff on a computer screen doesn't work. Take a road trip to Northern California and come experience it.